what's it's Felina Celine and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys our house see I love this house so much it holds such sentimental like feelings for me and I really really love it but we did buy our second home and it is our dream home I am just like so excited but I really wanted to document how everything is now in this home because once we rent it out obviously I can't come back here and like decorate it how I wanted to because things might change so I'm like I want to keep it for myself too like I want to look back on this video and smile and look at where we started so before we begin this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I will have more home decor videos coming up especially now that we're moving into our new house it's a four bedroom house so I will have a lot of home decor videos for you guys and I will have a lot of hauls too because I also went shopping recently to get like stuff for the kitchen all right so now let's get into it welcome to our home and when Ricardo and I first moved in we actually loved how small and cozy it was because it was just a perfect size we were newlyweds and so we wanted to stay really close but we quickly ran out of space so let's begin with the entryway there's just pictures everywhere you will see and that's what makes it really really homey like our family and our trips that we've taken and then that's a closet right there and then over here we have have the living space so we have a bunch of pictures on the window and then we have our entertainment center right over here and what sold us about this house was the chimney because we love the stone that was on there even though we never lit the fireplace I think it's really beautiful On this corner of the living room, we put a tall bookcase with glass doors. I found them at Ikea, if you guys are curious. They're the Billy bookcases. We just put a bunch of our memorabilia in there. And then on over to the right side, you will see we have different collages on the wall. And this one in the living room is from our wedding. And I just, I love all the pictures. They look so nice with different frames to really contrast once against the other. And then over by the entrance, we have this other collage with a bunch of different frames. I love the different kinds of frames and sayings and I also have like the letter V for Villa, our last name, and then cute little canvases on there. So I love it all. You just kept the color palette really neutral and then underneath we have a bunch of souvenirs from our trip this year. We went to New York and also Paris and London. You guys will see that a lot around our house. I kind of became obsessed with Paris. <laughs> then you will see the dining room and I looked forever for this table. I finally found it and I was so excited so I wanted to keep it all just really nice and pretty with the chairs. I love the tough chairs. They're my favorite. And then we have a couple of canvases on here which I actually found at Ross. Really inexpensive and then I put up a canvas of our wedding rings. And a tip for small spaces is to have really long curtains all the way up to the ceiling. All right, so now let's move over to the kitchen and I rarely film in here because it's really, really tight. So it doesn't give me any space to film. But as you can tell, it's quite tiny, but I made it work. I loved it. My favorite are all the memories that are on the fridge. And once again, we just have a bunch of pictures. Can you tell like I love pictures? It's my favorite thing to do. And so we just have a bunch of different places that we've been to, our favorite spots. And then I like to add like the name of where we've been. And then also over here on this cute little corner, I love how it looks with like the flowers and just make it a personalized with like that spoon holder. And yeah, so that's the kitchen. And now let's move over to the master bedroom, which is quite small, but can fit a king size bed inside. So it's a pretty cozy spot. And I just decorate it with neutral colors because when I wake up in the morning, I wanna feel like refreshed. And I feel like this gray color really helps a lot. And I just put little pops of color here and there with the white. And I made everything kind of mirrored because it matched the gray. Um, so we have all these pillows on there, really nice and comfy. Another little collage that I have up there and our dressers, which are my favorite. And then we just have some pictures on the wall. And then on this side, we have just some of our accomplishments like Ricardo's diploma. And then over here, we just have another little frame collage. And that is the bedroom, really nice and simple, easy to clean easy to maintain clean 
and it's just really nice. As you can tell, the curtains are all the way up to the ceiling again. So this is the only bathroom that we have in this house, and it's extremely hard to decorate because there's just not enough space. You don't need a curtain because of the glass doors, and all I really have is a spot on top of the toilet. So that's where I put that pop of color on there, and then I just kept it really neutral because it's really hard to put color in this bathroom and the last room is my glam room this is where I film where I get ready where I work where I store my clothes and my shoes and a bunch of other stuff it's always messy I clean it out for you guys and this is what I wish it would look like every single day because it's a mess if you guys follow me on snapchat you guys will see the drama with everything on there so once again we have the same bookcases that I showed you guys in the living room and in here I decided to put and display all of my purses and shoes because not only does it keep the dust away but it looks really pretty of course and it helps me stay organized a lot better and then I have the same thing on this other shelf so I have two of these in my room and I kind of want to get one more but it also helps me not hoard shoes because I'm like I don't have space to put them on or to display them on so it helps me not buy too many shoes over here is my working space so I have my computer and then I have my cutting machine for my sticker shop. I also have it in the basement, but our basement isn't finished and it's really dark down there, so it's really hard to film. So I'm just gonna show you guys the glam room. And then over here, we just have like a rack of clothes. And then this sign actually got when I went out to New York for New York Fashion Week, so I had to get that sign. I got it off the streets, it was only like $10 and I framed it. And then this is a drawing from a subscriber. We have makeup stored in all these Alex drawers from Ikea as well. And then on my vanity, I just kept it kind of simple with just like my brushes. And then I also framed my wedding dress because I just, I love my wedding dress. And I thought it was so pretty not to put on a frame. And then I just have this wheelchair which allows me to go back and forth from my computer to my vanity. Underneath the vanity, I have an area where I put new products that I get sent from PR packages so I can try out. Behind this curtain, we have my small little closet. I switch out clothes from here to the basement depending on the season. And so I just have like this little space so that I don't get overwhelmed with too many clothes. And I have like my shoes in there. And then next to that we have the mirror where I take my OOTDs. And yeah, that is everything. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys will see all the new home decor videos and hauls and all that fun stuff. Because I love those transformations. They're my favorites. And next time I see you guys, it'll be at the new house. So that is all. And I will talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah.